All right, today I'm up here at Bodine State Fish Hatchery. This is where the Indiana DNR raises coho salmon, summer run steelhead, and some winter run steelhead. Pretty cool facility. I've just done a little tour of it. Uh, one of the guys came out, I talked with him for a little bit. They said they've got basically these circular raceways where they're raising you know, the cohos and the Skamania steelhead. They've got this uh, filtration system here in the middle. They're just pulling well water and running this entire facility off of well water. Over there, in those two concrete raceways, they've got some Skamania steelhead that they're using for brood stock. They've got over 700 fish in there right now. It's just absolutely incredible watching those fish swim around. There's some absolute monsters in there. And then basically they've got a building over here that's got an interpretive center. And that's where they actually spawn these fish when they're ready, ready to take the eggs and the milk from them. Pretty cool facility. If you guys are ever up here, um, this facility is kind of tough to get into because it's uh, basically only open to the public Monday through Friday. So you have to be up here through the week. I just happened to be on vacation. So I took some time to come up here while I was up doing some steelhead fishing on the river. Like I said, I'll uh, show you guys a few shots and hopefully you guys will be able to see some of the fish that they've got and they're racing here. So these are the raceways that they have the broodstock steelhead in. You notice these foam pads. I actually asked the guy what those are for because I just wasn't really sure. He said that's to discourage the fish from actually just jumping out of the raceways. I kind of asked him how effective that was and he said that they haven't had one jump out and die this year so far. So that's really good. Um, pretty unique, pretty innovative solution to a problem that they obviously were having. Oh, wow. Now, I just talked with one of the guys that works here at the hatchery, and he said that there's 700 adult Skamania steelhead in these raceways. Some of these fish are just absolutely enormous. There, he said that there are some that are up to 20 pounds in here, so there's some great big steelhead in here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look inside the Bodine State Fish Hatchery. Now, the small fish that were in those circular raceways were really, really hard to get footage of. As soon as I would walk up to it, they would immediately swim to the other side. Um, so I didn't really get any good footage of those, but some of the footage of the bigger Skamania brood stock that they had in those two concrete linear raceways um, turned out pretty good. So I'm pretty pleased with that footage. So one other thing to note is while I was talking with the hatchery staff there, um, he said that Michigan actually did not take any broodstock fish from the Little Manistee River this spring. So they ended up not getting any winter run steelhead eggs like they normally would from Michigan. Uh, so actually they are raising additional Skamania steelhead to kind of balance that out a little bit. But next year, the state of Indiana is not going to be stocking any winter run steelhead. So in a couple of years, probably three or four years, um, we should see the winter steelhead run decline, but we should see an extra good summer steelhead run, hopefully. So kind of uh, something interesting, some kind of insider information that I didn't really know about until I talked with that guy. So that's kind of cool. Okay, last but not least, I did do a little bit of fishing before I went over to the fish hatchery. Now I was in my kayak and I was out on the St. Joe River plugging for steelhead. The conditions were really not good for it. There was a ton of floating weeds and a lot of leaves coming down the river that were constantly getting snagged on my crankbait. So I was having a really, really hard time. And I had actually pretty much given up hope and I was actually giving up and I was gonna go try something else. Um, I had shut my camera off, I would reeled in one of my rods, and then I looked over and the other rod, sure as you can believe it, actually had a fish on it. I couldn't believe it, still can't believe it to this day. Um, so like I said, I do have a little bit of footage of that fish and then uh, me releasing that fish to finish off the video. I wasn't recording because I gave up hope and I got this beautiful steelhead plugging on the Joe. Unbelievable. She leveraged herself off now. Damn, I can't believe I wasn't recording. That was insane. That was a crazy hit too. She hit it hard. Oh. It's a beautiful fish. I'm hoping that the camera captures just how beautiful this fish actually is. I mean, it's just unbelievably pretty. If you guys can see half of the iridescent colors that are on this thing, it's gonna be a pretty cool shot. Awesome fish. All right, let's get her going, shall we? 